Hey, it's been a while since I reviewed a Lenovo laptop and this year Lenovo did bring some delightful machines. This is V15, it is one of Lenovo's slicker 15 inch laptops but there are also 14 inch versions in the IdeaPad V series. What's exciting about this one is that it has the Ryzen 5 processor with a much faster RAM and SSD drive. And you will see in a minute that it's far more capable than just editing or surfing to the web. And it can be easily used for advanced creative work or gaming. But like all laptops in this price category, there is always something unpredictable behind the mess. So let's take a look inside the box. Here is the laptop, some papers for the beginners. And is that all? Where is the charger? Here you are! I almost thought that now laptops are next to follow the wild eco-trendly trend by charger later. The build quality of Lenovo V15 is a blend of fine and ordinary. I think for a lot of people a good size and weight. The polymer exterior surfaces have this clean pattern texture finish Otherwise, it's got a standard lid, it's not an extraordinary design, but if you think black is too colorful, there is also an iron grey version. Now, when you pop it open, the keyboard makes typing a very enjoyable experience, and the buttons feel durable. Tactile feedback is adequate and there's no visible bending going on around buttons even when you press harder on it. For me, a good sturdy keyboard is something that's really important, because you can't replace it easily. The keyboard itself is a little murky, you only have caps lock and number pad button illuminated, so if you often work on field or in a particularly dark cave, there is also full backlit cable version in more expensive IdeaPad 5 series. If you look closer at the touchpad, it offers a spacious interface with smooth surface and good responsiveness. Its clicking mechanism is well built and it quickly detects touch when you press the top or the bottom half of the touchpad. Lenovo give the V15 all fashionable ports, so on the left side of the notebook you can connect the fast charger, HDMI, USB 3 and USB-C ports along with a headphone jack. On the right side we have security lock slot, one USB and one Ethernet port. On the top of the screen is a webcam with a privacy shutter and it can easily record HDI video. If you compare it to the 1.2 megapixel webcams, it has average picture quality, which is sharp enough for Snap and similar apps, and of course, you can even use it for something much more serious. If you know how to upscale picture quality. At V15 comes with an almost 16 inch LED backlight screen with a full HD resolution. This screen resolution does a great job of displaying web pages and YouTube videos. It will be good for everyday use, but if you want even better colors, then go with the IPS screen version, which also has a lot better viewing angles. Even though the screen has average below 60% color accuracy, colors still look good. Of course, it's not all perfect, like many other laptops in this price class, it cannot get a lot brighter than 230 nits, which is not the best for working outside. But it's still usable and it still has more than enough brightness for normal use in the office or at home. As you can see, Lenovo fitted V15 with an improved cooling system designed to keep the laptop quieter and less hot when it's not fully loaded. 
It looks like the device exhausts its heat towards the bottom of the screen and below the keyboard. During the typing I didn't feel any heat, but when you play games the left side below the screen can become warmer, yet it's far from destructible, unless you are ice cream. If we're talking about sheer speed, the SSD drive booted Windows in an impressive 9 seconds. In terms of upgradability, there is only one slot of RAM and you can still add a second SSD drive. Benchmark-wise, it does quite stack to the other laptops in this category. It has great CPU and good amount of RAM, so completing the task like programming application or basic editing of photos videos is an easy thing to do. For an affordable mainstream laptop designed for work and play, the Ryzen 5 processor performed well and without any annoying fan noise. When it comes to multitasking, I tested some apps with YouTube in the background, there wasn't lag between scrolling or switching between apps. I also tested some games, it runs smoothly Valorant on medium settings, and I can say Radeon Graphics offers good performance for most popular online games. If you want to play more demanding games like Battlegrounds, then it's best to go with GeForce MX Graphics version. With a 38 Watt hour battery inside, I wasn't expecting to be surprised. On the battery test, which involves some heavy editing, gaming and watching YouTube, the battery lasted more than 4 hours. But it should last up to 7 hours and more if you lower the screen brightness and disable some unused background apps. The two stereo speakers support Dolby Audio and can produce a satisfying range of heights, mid-tones that let you hear all details and sound effects. While only 3 watts bass is subtle, it can still surprise in some scenes. In general, speakers produce a clear sound and its peak max power is comparable with similar price lags. Unlike a lot of 15.6 inch laptops, the Lenovo V15 packs a lightweight chassis with thinnest bezels, great keyboard and above average speakers. The Full HD screen is sharp, the only disadvantages are the narrow color coverage and the TN screen version has a limited viewing angles. So if you want more comfortable viewing angles go with IPS screen version. As of build quality in general, despite the plastic material, the laptop is a robustly built and feels it will last. The only complaint is that it's not fingerprint resistant, even this could be used for extra security measures. Overall, Lenovo IdeaPad V15 G2 is one of the best laptop values on the market and a great choice for anyone who wants a fast and affordable laptop from Lenovo.